Geometry number 266, total surface area of a triangle pyramid. Okay, let's take a look at what we've got here. This is our given. We have a triangle prism with a height of 8 inches and a base side of 4 inches. Okay? When we open the pyramid up, we can see all the surface areas that need to be measured. Okay, so here's the pyramid, a square one. And if we opened it up, we could see the square base and the four sides. Well, we have a triangle pyramid. So it's got a triangle base and three sides, three lateral sides. And this is what it looks like opened up, and that's the entire surface area that we need to find. So we need to find a triangle base, and we need to find three triangles, okay? To get the height of a lateral side of a pyramid, we need to use the slant height formula, which is this. a squared plus h squared equals l squared. The a is the apothem, the h is the height or the altitude, and the l is the slant height. We get the slant height by using the square root of a squared plus h squared. We get the perimeter by adding up the three sides of the triangle. Okay? We plug the numbers into this formula, s equals half lp, which is uh, the, the surface area is equal to half of the slant height times the perimeter. And we know all the lateral surface areas, but we still need to add the base area. Well, to find the slant height, we need to do the slant height formula. But before we do that, we need to find A, the apothem. So we can't even do the slant height formula unless you have the apothem. Now if you've got it, go ahead, start doing the formula. If you don't, this is what we need to do. Here's a triangle, okay? A triangle is 360 degrees and it has three sides. So what we do is we divide it into three triangles. One, two, three. All right? The 360 that the triangle is divided by 3 is 120. So each one of these has a 120 degree internal angle. See that? 120, 120. This one we cut in half. This is the apothem, B. And because we split this 120, it now became a 60 degree angle and a 60 degree angle. And this side that was 4 inches is now a 2 inch and a 2 inch. Okay? So, what we're going to do is, we've cut that in half, we've got the apothem, and we get a 60 degree acute angle right there. See? Now, we have an acute angle of 60 degrees, we have an opposite side of 2, so we can say tangent 60 is equal to A over B, which is the opposite over the adjacent, which is equal to 2B, alright, 2 over B. So we rewrite it and say b is equal to 2 tangent 60. So, now we're at 2 tangent 60, okay? What we do is, we look on a trig table under the tangent column for 60 degrees and see where they meet up, and we see 1.7321. If you have a calculator, just input 2 for that 2, a division line uh, thing for this fraction line, the tangent button and put in 60 for that 60. Either way, we're going to come up with 1.154 after we divide the 2 by the 1.7321. Rounding up, I get 1.2 because the 1, 5 can round up. The 5 makes the 2, the 1 a 2. Okay, so we get 1.2. So now we know the apothem, this little piece from the center to here is 1.2. All right, so inside here, this little mark from the center down here to this side is 1.2, this tiny little piece, okay? Now we can plug that into the slant height formula. So we've got 1.2 squared plus the height, which is 8, okay? The height is 8, that's from the center up to the vertex, squared is going to equal L squared. So 1.2 squared is 1.44. 8 squared is 64, so 1.44 plus 64 is 65.44, equals the L squared. So now, what we need to do is find out what the square root of 65.44 is, so that we can take away this square sign, and we find out that it's 8.089. So I'm going to say it's 8.1, just to make it round up, okay? This 8 is going to make the 0 turn into a 1, and it's going to fall off. Okay, so we now we've got 8.1 for a slant height right here. Now, we need to ask ourselves, do you want to take the green pill or the orange pill? 
We have two different ways we could do this, okay? Let's go the green way, all right? Here's the green way. We're going to use this formula for a lateral surface area. So we know that the, the, the slant height is 8.1. We know the perimeter is 12 because it was 4 all the way around. 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12. So we need to multiply 8.1 by a half, which is 4.05, and now we need to multiply it by the perimeter, which is 12. 4.05 times 12 is 48.6. All right? Now, what we need to do is we need to add the base, okay? And the base is a triangle. So we can say 4 times 4 is 16, and then cut it in half, right? The length times the width divided by 2. 4 times 4 equals 16, divided by 2 is 8, so the, the area of the base is 8. We add that to the 48.6, and we get 56.6 for our total surface area. Whew! Do you want to see another way, the orange way? Okay, let's take a look at this. All right, we were right here before we made our decision, and we found out what the slant height was, that it was 8.1 before we got into this, okay? So instead of doing that S equals half LP formula, we can just say, look, we know the slant height is 8.1. We know this bottom part right here is a 2. If you want to find the area of a triangle, you, de you do the length times the width divided by 2, or half base height, right? So 8.1 times 2 is 16.2. Now normally, we would divide that in half because it's a triangle. But we don't want to. We want this whole entire big triangle, okay? Imagine if this triangle was flipped upside down and put right here so that it was a rectangle. Then that would be the area of both of these triangles, wouldn't it? We do want the area of both of these sides. So we do want 16.2, all right? We've got three of these triangles in our pyramid plus a base. So, we do 16.2, which is the size of this entire triangle here, times the three lateral sides, and we get 48.6. We know that our base is 8, because it was 4 times 4 divided by 2. We add that for the base area and get 56.6 total surface area. And you want to know what? 56.6... 56.6... 56 so if you don't want to do this formula, and you know the slant height, then all you have to do is say, well, I need three of these and the base. So in your head, with common sense, you get three of these and the base, and you end up with the same thing as if you had gone the green route and done this formula, okay? Now, the sad thing is, if we knew the apothem, the height, the base side length, we could have just done the formulas and had the area right away. It's not having the apothem that really, really screws it up for us, or one of the other pieces of information. Either way, that is how you get the total surface area of a triangle pyramid. You can do it without a scientific calculator because there are trig tables in the back of your book and online. And it's easy if you've got all the information already. If you don't, you need to get your apothem, and that's how you find it with the trig tables. Okay? Those are the formulas you need. Keep up the good work. We're going to keep doing surface areas and volume. We're almost done with our geometry series, and I'll see you next video. Bye!